So lastly, we left off. We have a file based off of our template. And we have a space for our gallery, but we don't have the gallery in there. So I am going to open up that very first gallery from my Lightbox modified HTML file. And I'm going to look at my code and I'm going to take this whole gallery div and including that little comment and copy it and paste it and everything looks weird right well and that's because um, it's just it's it's a div I mean it's a div holding a bunch of floated stuff and it um, and we haven't set up any special style as to what this div should do. So I think we have enough room for this gallery. And of course, you would have things sized out and know, and I'm doing it very quickly in here. So um, I'm assuming we have enough room based on the quick measurements that I looked at. Uh, I just need to take this gallery, and it should be div ID of gallery. And I'm going to go over here and see that I have this lightbox CSS. So I'm going to see if I can get away with just modifying that rule and have it float right and see what happens. And see if I have enough space. Of course, I have a right margin. So I'm going to go ahead and make that zero. Make this zero. I also have a top margin on here, which I may not want. So this is all part of that original styling. Um, and it looks like I don't have quite enough room. And I'm not sure who the problem is yet. But let's go ahead and just make sure things are working. So we're going to refresh. And oh, that's the template. And click. And we can see that it appears that things are working properly. We do have this loading thing uh, showing up in a weird space. It's not showing up in the center right now. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the style. And I'm going to remove the float of right on it. I'm just going to go ahead and have it be a float of none. And let's see what we've got. Okay. Now we still have that weird thing going on with the um, with that, but I'm not I I'm not going to Puts with that too much right now. Is it happening here? No, it's totally centered here, which could just have to do, you know, I may just have to find the positioning for that particular graphic, and I'll look really quick to see if I can locate that. And I cannot at the moment, just quickly. Let's see. Maybe. Lightbox loading. So this is an absolute position. Uh, top of 40, left height. Okay, so text align of center. And that could be based off of something else. So we, I, I just have to sit here and dissect the style sheet to figure out why once it's moved over, it, it's it's not centered. And it, and it has to do probably with the position of the box itself. And so I just have to play with that a little bit. But uh, to get to the end of this tutorial, what I'd like to do is simply um, figure out the placement for this. So we have this article that is sitting on the right-hand side, or left-hand side of the screen, and um, it has it's a float of left and a width of 190, and then it is held by something called left article and that is a width of 180 so we should probably go ahead and take this down to 190 as well 
the paragraph probably doesn't need, um, well, it probably needs to be a little bit narrower than that box. So we'll just do this. And, and you know, this is simply seeing what I can do to get things to fit, just so you can see. It, we're really just moving boxes around. And now I have crazy stuff happening here. Hold on. Okay, that's because I set that to 1900 instead of 190. Okay, so now this wants to sit next to it, um, even without me putting a float on it now that we have space for it. What you would probably end up doing in your layout would be you would probably end up having a box for content and then you would put this gallery div inside there. In this situation I don't have a box for content over here so I, I could create one and um, let's see so we have our left article and then I bet you anything I have code here for a right article of float right I do and let's go ahead and give this with the 700 pixels. So this would be like your content area that you'd have on every single page. And we'll go over here, we'll go to gallery, and put in the right article get to the end of all of these guys here and the div gallery so this would be like my left or my right column in my layout and we'll see what we have going on here it looks like I might not have things sized exactly right yeah, so you can see here we have a little bit of overlap. We're going to go ahead for the sake of, of speeding things up here. We're going to make the left article just a little bit smaller. So the moral of the story, of course, is normally you would plan this out and have a nice little, you know, nice graceful um, layout here. So you'd have two columns and you'd have to make sure that your article, there we go, that you or not your article, that your gallery was sized to fit in the content area that you are trying to fit it in. And still not quite there. I'm not sure what my conflict is in size here exactly, but um, clearly I have one. And is this working? We still have, so we have a couple little glitchy things here. Hold on. Okay, so it looks like with this, you know, like this is just a layout that I did in a previous lecture that we have some padding going on um, that right now we're going to say we don't want. So you would have all of your spacing planned out in your mock as far as the space that you'd actually have available for your gallery because it's just a content area. It's the same as any other div. Prior to putting this in here, prior to customizing your layout, you would know, oh, I need my gallery to be no wider than X. So everything is working. The gallery fits. We have, um, we have our two rows. Okay, so I just I paused the video for a moment and I did some troubleshooting and here's what I learned about that little loading graphic and how it was not off it was off to the side, not centered, is that here's my document that Lightbox modified that I brought into my site folder and I tested it there and it wasn't having a problem. It was still fine. <clears throat> and over here, when I hit refresh, um, that little loading graphic that you see each time, that little spinning thing was over here to the right and I couldn't figure out why and I looked and there was a bunch of absolute positioning and stuff like that and I didn't know if that was causing the problem. So it turns out I looked at my CSS for the overall page. So I looked at my main CSS and look what I had. This is from, like I said, the previous demo. I just wanted to grab something really quick and see, you know, just throw this in there. And I had set up, because it was just a little basic demo, I'd set up an overall like here, this paragraph thing, you would normally never say all paragraphs float left and all paragraphs are 150. But for a limited demo 
you can do something like that. Normally you would have IDs or classes. Well, apparently in my previous, <clears throat> it, using what I had here, um, my previous demo, I had set all images to float right. So this little graphic is an image, so that's why it was positioning itself right. So mystery solved, now it's behaving itself. And like I said, you would normally have a div like we do here that would make up your right column or your content area, and that's where your gallery div goes into. You just have to make sure that gallery is the proper width to fit your content. And now you have seen how to bring in a jQuery, um, <clears throat> a jQuery plugin. We customized it a little bit. What you want to do is you want to find a plugin that does what you want functionality-wise, as well as a good tutorial on how to implement it, how the co explaining the code. And then you want to go through all the steps that I did in this series. So the idea being you test it, then you modify it, you test it, and you, you don't have it anywhere near your site at first until you're sure you have things the way you want. Now, if I were to create another page, here's what I would do. I would take this, um, we have this gallery, right, this, where is it? Is that it? Okay. So my tag inspector here says that I have the gallery Let's see, that should be it, right? Nope, too far. There. I have my gallery div selected. You'll get that little right there. Okay. So if I want to create another page, I would say copy. And whether it was the same layout or not, I, this is one way I could get it in there. As long as I knew I had the space. So create a new page, file, save. And we'll call this, I don't know, photographs. Okay. And then I would go into the call the div. In this case, it's um it's oh shoot. You know what? I don't have write article as part of my template. That would really help us out a lot. So normally your template would have the second column in there. So let's go ahead and put that in there. And for the sake of this, let's see, article. <clears throat> there. Um, okay, so that goes in my templates from this point forward. Anything I create based off of that, I'm going to get rid of that photographs because um, we want to start over again with that already in there. So say we had our little div here that you could put content in or you could put the gallery in, whatever. It's just, it's a right column for content. And we know our gallery is the proper size, so to fit in there. So I'm going to do File New, um, choose my layout, save this as photographs. And go into this right column here and paste in that gallery that I had copied a moment ago. So we have, so the gallery is there, you know, we've, we've put it in one page, now we're putting it in the next page. So ideally you're putting your galleries in kind of modularly, like many at one time. And now I would just need to choose my new photo. So let's see, let's test our, our image here, our page. Okay, everything's working, life is good. All right, so I would then close out some stuff here and I would choose my new photos and I can go ahead and I'll just choose a couple off of the original so we have this building JPEG so we'll say building and building is going to link to in their case, they did building large. You know, I have mine in a folder called large gallery images. So I would go through this process and change all these images out and change all their descriptions out. And there we go. We can see the buildings there and it's working. Okay. So that's all it is. You just paste that whole gallery div into the next page and switch out your images. If you have them all organized, it'll be really easy for you to find everything. Like you might have, in this case, I'm calling this um, page photographs. You might end up with, instead of thumbs and large gallery images, you might have a folder named um, 
photographs and inside of that you might have a folder for large images and small images all inside your images folder and so then you would just open up that photographs folder and you could get to your thumbnails and you could get to your large images that corresponded with it really easily and then you could have another folder for illustrations and so on however you want to organize it you have lots of options just make it easy on yourself so you're not hunting and pecking through all the images because if you end up with even a few pages you know I mean really a few pages with just two rows like this and you have this is eight so that's 16 thumbnails and 16 large images that you have to sort through plus your other images that make up your interface so you might want to segment out your folders for building your gallery